Hello YouTubers, uh, Tross here, and I'm uh, back with part 2 of my 100 subscribers special, and I'm here on a downloaded version of the 1.7 version server that I played on, and uh, this will allow me to do a, a bunch of interesting things, uh, the biggest of which is, uh, since I'm playing in 1.8, I'll be able to use uh, spectator mode to be able to fly through and show you everything, including things that are underground, like caves and underground constructions that you normally wouldn't be able to see. So, uh, let's get started. So here I am at uh, our spawn area, and uh, just before I get started, uh, well, <laughs> I'm going to show off this little area. We have a, a map here of the spawn area, and... Uh, you can see the green here is where we are. This right here is the spawn building. Or actually, that's that area. This here is our nice giant iron farm. Um, there's a farm over here that we'll see a little later. And this building over here we'll see. But this actually, uh, it burned down. The map hasn't been updated, but it burned down down. I'm not sure if there was uh, lava there or exactly what happened, but in uh, I didn't play on this server too much in the last six months before 1.8 came out, uh, but there was a few changes, including, hey, a piece of this map went missing. <laughs> um, but yeah, you can see this area. Looks, see, I'm kind of normal. But uh, I'm going to now go into spectator mode. And you can see, um, I seem to have disappeared, and in fact, I'm just a transparent head at this point. Uh, this allows us to fly around, uh, but creative mode would allow you to do that. But uh, besides flying around, it lets you fly right through things. And while you're flying through things, you can see through it. So, here's, here's where our spawn looks like. From the air, there's our, our little spawn shelter. There's a uh, crafting and some stuff in there. We got our main portal to the nether. We got this map. We got a chicken cooker. We got a basic rail station. And someone built their house up here. We got uh, this is a melon farm. So if you don't like chicken, you can have melon. Uh, this was an amplified world, uh, and there was a big cave here, uh, but because it was always shadowed, uh, there was lots of mobs that spawned it. Someone took it upon themselves to flood this all with water. Uh, before it was flooded, we did have a few things like this rail line going through there, so they had to close it in glass. Uh, here's the inside of our spawn uh, shelter. It's crafting, a few other things, uh, brewing, got a smelter, enchanting area. Um, but a lot of tunnels were dug underground. Uh, this is on a big hill. You can see uh, the hill here. And, uh, well, let's see what that all looks like. So we're going to sink into the ground here. And voila! You can now see all the uh, man-made and game-generated tunnels. You can see stairway going down that way, stairway going down that way, ladder going straight down. Got some tunnels going across at uh, approximately sea level. Looks like this one uh, was closed off. Uh, I do also... Let me uh, kick up the view distance... Uh, come on, can we go up to, let's say, 24 chunks, which is uh, double normal. So, it will take a second to fill in, but uh, things in the distance will begin to fill in even further. It's a crazy wool tower over there. And in fact, I'm going to start heading this way. There's a 
tower right here, you can see all the uh, floors inside. See, there's a... Looks like this part of the cave system over here was never lit. Not sure if it was explored. Um, big mountain here, you can see... This is all filled with water. Oh, it's part of the flooding of the cave. Someone probably had a tunnel here, and it just completely flooded. Probably an unintended side effect. A little lit up area. Yeah, we got the crazy amount of sheep uh, to provide wool for the crazy wool tower. A bunch of flowers as well were... I, these weren't here originally, they were all imported. Uh, someone did a large oop, strip mining operation down here. You can see uh, there's a ravine underground. What is this over here? Oh, it looks like a cocoa bean farm. <laughs> so many chests, yep. There's even a map of this area. Oh, it looks like uh, looks like this is a basic flower farm. The only thing is, like in spectator mode, you can't interact with anything, so I can't flip that on and off and see what happens. But there's a stairway down, flower machine. Yeah, so um, I'm actually heading in the direction of my base, which uh, is to the east. You see all these uh, caves. A lot of them were explored, but you can see some are dark and probably weren't explored. We got a spawner here. It looks like it's a zombie spawner. But obviously uh, someone's here and took all the... Uh, Mossy cobble. Of course, in 17 you couldn't uh, create mossy cobble, so if you wanted to use it, you had to uh, find it and dig it up. Now here, uh, someone was planning a big construction, and uh, it was going to be a big circular area, but they were building it really close to spawn, and it would have taken over a big place, and some people complained uh, so he had stopped working on. He had it was gonna flatten this whole area as like a uh, 400 by 400 blocks, but uh, you see, it only got so far, and the progress stopped. And uh, it's like some of the stuff was left behind. Not sure if that was ever uh, continued somewhere else. I don't think it was. Yeah, so I'm heading uh, over here to the swamp where I had my base. It wasn't very big, uh, just enough so I could work on some other projects around on the server. Um, you see, there is some uh, strip mining that happened here. Um, I had found a... Oh, this is the... Uh, okay, <laughs> I had found a ravine, and, um, wow, oh, I know where, yeah, I know where we are. I had found a ravine over here, yeah, and it connected to a, a big cave system, and then this underground mine, this is the ravine right here, and, um, I didn't find it myself, but in the same cave system was a skeleton spawner. And this was the earliest, closest skeleton spawner we had found to spawn. And so we turned it into a uh, XP farm and armor farm and all that. So here's the spawner. Skeletons would spawn in the darkness. We did have a, a window here you could see in, but because it's uh, half slabs, it would not actually allow light in. And you can sort of see how this worked. The skeletons would come down and they get pulled up here. 
Uh, they would swim up, and there's air blocks between the water blocks. They would then drop down a little bit here. And we had uh, this set up so that one of these two pistons would be open. So they would either go to this side and drop so that they would be at one health or half a heart. Or they would come over to this side and they drop further. Uh, which would kill them outright. And this would just be for uh, making bone meal or collecting arrows. Uh, but most of the time, this side was used, and they would land here, and uh, you would just punch them, and all the items would be collected down here. And then we had different chests for arrows, and bows, and bones, and different types of uh, armor. And actually, I can click and see what's in here. You can see golden chest plates, and more chain ones, leather, and it went helmets, chests, legs, boots. Um, yeah, there is lava above this room. And then over here, because we had so many bones, we had a, uh, a little tree farm. It wasn't the best. Uh, it was actually a better one. <laughs> Nearby. Let's see, let's go up here. Yes, uh. Canadian Kid, I believe this was his place, and he had a better tree farm uh, that would allow all the leaves to drop. Not fully automatic, but uh, you would get a lot of saplings back, or more saplings back, where that one underground basically didn't really give you any saplings. Yeah, I uh, forgot how far you can see. This is twice as far uh, as you normally would. Servers normally are set to 12 blocks. Uh, so this is my corner of the swamp right here. And uh, I had a witch hut. I never turned it into a witch farm. That was my intent at the beginning. Um... But it never happened, and then someone else made a witch farm someplace else, and so uh, that one tended to be used. <laughs> I did have a wheat farm here. Semi-automatic, you just flip to harvest, and they would all harvest. I had a big cow farm here. And you can see there's water streams that would push all the baby cows to the center, where they're supposed to suffocate. Not sure why they aren't. Oh, I guess if they fell in the hopper holes, they wouldn't. But uh, that's how that's supposed to work. And then the, everything would, uh, the meat and leather would be dumped out here, and then you could uh, pick it up, and there'd be a little tone when things entered the hopper. I also had a pumpkin and melon farm here that runs off of a uh, light sensor that's hidden back here. And, uh, well, you can see how well it worked. <laughs> uh, it also ran this uh, sugarcane little farm, and the sugarcane would come all the way down here and get collected. And... Uh, circuit was a bit more complex than it should be. Uh, it can be built much simpler, but it, it worked. This was my base proper. Uh, this was just getting started. <laughs> Some cocoa beans and all sorts of uh, chests kind of organized by type of material. And let's see, I think I had plants and tools and food and stuff. Mob drops. I had a uh, hidden station or uh, basically a cart would pop up here and then you could get in and press this button and you'd be launched down the rails. 
it, it worked decently. And, uh, well, that was my base. I had, oh, I had a portal over here. Uh, not exactly in my base, but in my base area. Uh, speaking of what was in my base area, I had a neighbor over here. And uh, he had an underground base. And I have no idea how long it took him to dig all this out. But it had to be a lot of work. Animals and trees and farms. And uh, he obviously had a bunch of uh, strip mines here. But uh, let's look at some of the other builds. Some that I may not even be that familiar with. Yeah, he had a little upper area here. I know. Uh, Ooh, he used a scroll wheel to go faster. A few people made this. Uh, these were just floating islands. And. Uh, uh, they got a Burning Man. They never finished it, but they started this rainbow glass bridge. Like lion statues. Not sure how much they had. Oh, they had a decent amount in here built, and it looks like they got a rail all the way down to a, a mine, much further down. And, uh, I'm not sure where this road goes. There are a few people who built further out there, in fact. There's one I do want to show you. Uh, here's his rail line. Where's that over there? Oh, it's a portal that's unlit. <laughs> The, the one problem with the spectator mode is uh, normally if you're flying in creative you can just double jump again to stop flying and you'll just fall. Uh, that doesn't work in uh, spectator mode. Someone's uh, castle. Not complete, I don't think. Maybe it is. Tower over here. Yeah, so this rail line goes, and it takes five minutes <laughs> if you're actually uh, following the rail line. And uh, mm. he can travel faster than a minecart, so it's all through. And uh, this is all built by a player called Watts. Watts Ape, I believe. And, uh, wow, does he know how to build? Witch hut there in the middle of the swamp. Alright, I'm going to stop here cause let, and let the train catch up. So the view distance this large, it does take a uh, bit for it to load all the information, but the minecart comes into this big station. And then he has this little, oh, not quite a village, but there's a town here. Big waterfall down here. I believe he has a yeah. He has a nice portal over here. Uh, a little pasture with some uh, horses and a creeper. <laughs> and then uh... oh yeah, these were farms. Uh, apparently, he also has a semi-automatic uh, harvesting method uh, that was kicked off. But uh, 
wasn't replanted. But yeah, everything gets collected and gets collected in these hoppers. Travel over here into his huge automatic storage and sorting system. I have no idea how long this took to build. Um, he obviously made good use of our iron farm. <laughs> uh, this chest over here also goes into the sorting system. I'm sure the sorting system runs on snowballs since it says no snowballs. But you can see he's got all the different materials, or at least most of them, <laughs> that get sorted. Um, but this isn't the half of it. If you go further down this path, uh, straight on from the station, he has this giant castle here. And this is huge. Um, in the normal view, you could barely see the other side of it. And it's, it's just fantastic. Uh, he also has, there is a player village on this server, uh, where we all built things, and his place on the player village is also just amazing. Let's see if there's any uh, interesting underground features. Oh, there's a banded mine shaft, but it doesn't look like much of this was explored. Maybe a little over here. Not sure where you got all this stone from, but uh, I think maybe part of this was carved out, so that's probably where you got it. Yeah, this is this was definitely carved out here, so. Anyway, I'm going to head back and uh, a few other places. Uh, that I want to show off, and then we'll head over towards the player uh, town. I'm just going to go straight here. We'll uh, eventually uh, meet up with a place I recognize, I'm sure. Um, okay, yeah, here we are. That was that castle before, and uh, someone's got a little farm over here. I do want to head over this way now. You see, uh, with the amplified terrain, there's just mountainous areas are just crazy with crevices and caves and openings. Uh, someone dug all the way through. All right, here we are. So, uh, we should be back near this. Yeah, here's this. Womp. And we had a track going down this way. And someone set up a really cool sheep farm over here. Oh, let's let it load in. <laughs> so I don't know if this was their main base here. They had uh, platforms with different materials, like cows, wheat, trees. Then they built this tower with all different colored sheep going around it. And actually, it looks like even some cocoa beans. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. 
minecart line continues on. Uh, right under here was one of the strongholds. Let's, let's look at what a stronghold looks like from above. Oh, and there's the portal right there. There's a library. There's a wow. There's a uh, ravine running right through the stronghold. Different rooms, all laid out. Some of the jail areas. So that's pretty interesting. Here we got a portal down here, right in front of the. Uh, End portal. But then uh, this path continued on. So there's a, another pretty good build out here. I'm not sure who built it. Uh, I built the rail out here, <laughs> and uh, yeah, here it comes into view now. Another big castle. I know at one point there was some uh, snow golems in these little container areas here, but I'm not sure what happened to them. I think they were supposed to uh, aggro any creepers that happened to come up the main stairs. And this was a whole village that someone walled in and turned into a castle and completely replaced all the villagers' homes. Um, I don't think I count as an actual player, so they won't really be active. Yeah, the main house here, and then all these houses are just basically a bunch of doors to count as multiple houses, so the villagers will breed and get a bunch of golems. Uh, one of the other problems with uh, spectator mode is sometimes use portals. <laughs> So, uh, gonna have to fly back, but, uh, I hope I can stop at one or two other places along the way. I'm just not sure where they are. <laughs> Let's let this load in. Yeah, there's kind of a big ocean here. Well, maybe not a big ocean, but there's series of islands, and I know one or two of them are inhabited, although I think they're further this way. So, uh... Oh, yeah, someone is over here. See all the torches. And they have built this... Whatever it is. <laughs> To the mountain, and oh, you can see all their uh, strip mines here. Looks like they had a farm. Here's <laughs> Without the uh, extended view, you wouldn't see any of this. You'd think you were in the middle of nowhere. And, well, you'd be partially right. Okay, I'm actually back near spawn. Uh, this is a big ice machine I built. You can see it makes a big cube of ice, and we use that for some of the constructions and item... Uh, moving apparatus, but uh, never fully, well, never was really used that much. 
this is another interesting build. Uh, at least I thought so. Down here, this was a really cool like restaurant slash bar. And uh, there's supposed to be more stuff, um, but the, whoever was making it stopped playing and this is all empty and there was uh, a lot of room to build stuff and I don't think everything that was intended to be built ever was finished. Uh, so I'm going to head down this way. Uh, this is actually where I was trying to get to. I gotta, so I built a little farm here. Um, so this rail went over to Ozzy Bob's place. He's a nice modern looking house. over here and, uh, nicely decorated not sure where the sheep are unless they're underground look at that oh, we got a spiral staircase there not that much underground yeah he has a little this is a stable out here Yep. Got a nice little place on this island. Uh, across the way here is the flower forest. And, uh... Well... Let me show over here first. Over here is a slime farm. It's a bunch of chunks right next to each other that uh, all spawn slimes. And uh, Shadow Dane built this. And oh, this top part here is a turn-off mechanism. You can open these pistons and water would flood out to prevent spawning. Uh, but slimes would jump off the sides eventually. And then uh, they'd be made smaller here by drowning. But then the small ones would be uh, carried up here and uh, come up the ladders and basically be taken over here for you to kill. And so you get XP and slime balls. This little station and... Uh, well, one of the other destinations would be over here at a flower farm. Now, this is uh, nothing compared to that airship that I showed off. This is old uh, style where we'd have uh, dispensers down here, fire, and then a stream of water. And uh, it was okay. It was slow. That's uh, part of the reason I designed the airship the way I did. Here's a, a version of the cocoa machine. And, uh, actually, I even built an attempt at a small squid spawner, but I never really got any <laughs> good amount of squid out of here. You get a few occasionally, and uh, the ink sacs would be brought over here and then up this glass elevator, glass item elevator, I should say, and be put in over here, this chest, you see... Uh, not that many compared to, well, compared to all the flowers. And, uh, anyway, that was, uh, good fun. Uh, we actually, uh, from the squid, see there's this lit path going off, and this would, uh, go to the nearest skeleton spawner that we knew of for all the bones. So here's another skeleton spawner I built. <laughs> and uh, this one 
Uh, basically, instead of having a left or right and dropping further, it had an option to carry the skeletons only up high enough that they would uh, fall to one health, or high enough that they would uh, completely die. So, uh, basically, they'd always land at the same height, which would be right here, but they'd either instantly die or you would have to hit them once. It was built so you could see them going up. And of course it all went into a sorter so you could get uh, your bones here, your arrows would come out over here, and then anything else would go into these chests, which apparently it was used slightly as a uh, XP farm. Uh, that spawner there was found by Shadowdane, whose place is right here. Uh, it's got a nice house. Downstairs, upstairs, little chanting area. Um, somewhere I thought he had a bedroom. thought that was up here, but I do know, yeah, here's his basement, which we use for storage. I do know he had a secret um, compartment somewhere. Um, oh, is this his bedroom? Oh, is this the secret compartment? Yeah. Yeah, there's pissing piston door there for the secret compartment. I'm not exactly sure how it activated, but... Uh, and then outside, he had some animals and a portal. And uh, a little bit of a strip mine down at the bottom. I'm going to fly this way briefly. This was uh, started early, and I don't think it was ever completed, but I did build a rail station through it. <laughs> um. Again, not too much here, but he, oh, it looks like he had a little dock over here. Uh, but later, some people joined and started building way over here, so really this rail uh, went to their place over here. Just had to pass through, or it's easiest to pass through there. Uh, oh, looks like this stairway was heading over to that mountain, but uh, never quite made it. Uh, quite the place here. Carrots and storage chests. And, ooh, some underground sheep and cows. Looks like they didn't explore too many of the uh, caves on the ground. There's a, enough to explore in the mountains of an amplified world. Not sure what this all this is. It's a big castle. Looks like more storage. Oh, it keeps on going. Look at that. I hear there be bell rungs. Well, I'm going to head back towards spawn now. Uh, which actually is this way. <laughs> Turned around a little bit. Um, see how fast we can get going here. No, nope, not too fast, apparently. Uh, yeah, this path here was put in by Shadowdane. I always like the look of how the caves just kind of go around in 3D space over and under and around each other. 
And if you have access to it, this is a great way to find uh, dungeons and skeleton spawners like... Oh wow, there's two. This is... Well, that's a zombie spawner. That's also a zombie spawner. Usually, th those are really close. I've never actually seen any that close. Wow, well, here's another one. Usually, it's hard to find one in as far as you can see. <laughs> that was uh, three relatively close together. Right, where are we here? Ah, I know where we are. Let's uh, let's go this way a little bit first, and then we'll swing back to over there. Ooh, there a bit of lag. All right, so spawn is well, you may actually be able to see it from here with a few hundred blocks that way. Yeah, there's the uh, restaurant and bar over there, and you can see that's the edge of the. Uh, Uh, iron farm. But over here, uh, this was uh, Adonan's place, I believe. And wow, has he uh, got a lot of uh, things going. He played a lot longer than anyone else on this server, I believe. And you know, he apparently really likes his nether bricks. Uh, he actually cleared out a giant area of uh, the nether to get of all the nether rack. Um, he built mostly over the water here, uh, but he has this tower here that goes way underground and has all sorts of stuff going on. Uh, I don't even know what that is supposed to be. And it's got tracks running all throughout here. Cat apparently somewhere. Um, it's got a chicken cooker somewhere. It's in the bottom of his tower. Oh, there's the cat. Towels. This, at one point, was a big uh, villager. Uh, village. Let's sit here. So he was picking out the best villagers for different trades and moving them around. Apparently he's got a big vine growing collection here. And, wow. Giant skyscraper here. Not sure what all this was for, but uh, definitely a lot of it. Uh, while I'm here, uh, this was Cubal's place. Pretty nice. Well, empty though. I think he uh, started late. Oh, I'm right in the middle of the floor there. I'm like, why does that stair just stop? Uh, yeah, pretty nice. But uh, back here is uh, another impressive build, I think at least. Not sure who this was, but he built right on the top here. I don't think he can go much higher than <laughs> the top of his house. And he's got some giant stairways going all the way back down. See, they come over here and... Well, under his place, over on this side, uh, now, he, so I'll give him A for effort, not the best execution though, he's got a giant mob farm here, uh, now, it relies on the mobs being in range, and if you're standing, you know, it relies on them being on range so they move around and walk off the edge into the water streams. And if you're at the ground, actually not very much of it will be in range. But 
you know, A for effort, the mobs will all come down here, and then if they're not spiders, they'll hit the uh, lava blades here and die and get collected. So, we got a giant mob farm here, and wow, it's like dug about a big tunnel here as well. Alright, let's, uh... Clear up the weather. <laughs> All right, uh, so heading south from here, got a few other places. Uh, not sure who built this. Oop, a little bit of lag there. But it's a pretty nice looking building. Oh, apparently I'm into the side of a cliff. Wow, that is like quantum sheep. <laughs> oh, someone's got an underground tree farm. Uh, but over here. Uh, what's our backup iron farm? Uh, normal four village pods. You're supposed to be in the water, not on the edge. What'd you get there? Looks like a, a snow machine. There was also a gold farm over here, so I actually, uh, actually spent a lot of time idling over here to get gold to make the powered rails for the whole rail system. It worked decently. It wasn't the fastest thing, but it you know it worked well enough. I would go on an idle. Now over here, uh, Freon built this. This is this was a decent, well designed uh, mob farm, and it's turned off right now. But mobs have spawned on the the packed ice here, and then. Periodically, these dispensers would dispense out water, and they'd all flush down, hit here, die, and carts would pick up all the drops, and then there was uh, a few golems just in case armored skeletons had feather falling boots or something like that. He also had this giant cactus growing tower. I'm not actually sure how effective this was, because I think... A lot of the cactus would, as they were falling, like land on or hit another cactus on the side. But, uh, yeah, there's a, like a double chest full of, well, half full of cactus. So it wasn't terrible. <laughs> um, Freon's base is over that way, but uh, let me just fly over here. This was never really finished. I'm not sure who built it. And then, uh... Ooh, yeah, that was pretty laggy. Here's that building that I said burnt down, and you can see... Yeah, we're... I mean, they're spawn. You see it, uh... It was pretty nice at one point, but, uh... Yeah, I'm not sure if it lava or or what exactly happened. Got a farm here with a nice windmill. Uh, this was going to be a museum of sorts, but uh, well, the shell was completed, but nothing was ever installed. Or roof was actually apparently never finished. And we had a few other players uh, on these hills, I think. Oh, here's here's the one. They had a bunch of sheep, and uh, yeah, nice looking building here. Cake, some cats, and a big 
waterfall. <laughs> and then there was another player over here with a leveled off hill here and lots of farm animals. Some uh, melons. And some kind of skyscraper over here. And uh, some <laughs> ladders up to so some floating bits of land. Not sure what all of this was. Yeah, there was a station over here, and someone was building an underwater base. Blasting it all off. Or, and then filling in the area to get the water out. Had uh, quite a number of rooms that were completed. So we got an underwater farm here, and some more over here. And, uh, looks like it went all the way over to here. Let's see it decently from underground. Speaking of looking at things underground, looks like there was a bit of a mine here. Another player built into this mountain over here, and looks like they actually leveled off a, a big area. Got some mushrooms and all sorts of stuff. You know, they've dug into this hill as well. Bit of an underground tree farm and going down to strip mines. And this is about the furthest in this direction that was built until you get to the player town, which is where I'm going to end. Hopefully uh, get there in a few minutes. A few other builds along here. Broken canoes. <laughs> Please. And he's got some strip mines. Got a castle here off the... Uh, Bay or lake or whatever it is. But yeah, now I'm heading over to Freon's place. And his place impressed me just for, you know, not, not that it wasn't a nice looking build, but it's just how he came up with connecting all the different pieces. He basically built a stairway up here, dug out a few levels in the middle of this mountain, and then uh, built a house on the top. But then it stretches over to this floating island that he kind of then built dirt over to for his farms, and then it goes up to this floating island and He's got a bit of a little mob farm here, and uh, you can see there's some tunneling over into here as well. And uh, got a stable over here. Anything? Yeah, extensive strip mine. Yeah, and I'm not even sure what all this is. Continuing on. Oh, it looks like it just stops here. But going past here, if you were heading to the player village, player town, overland you take this railway and it would go through this ravine over here and there's a, another 
kind of, uh, well, not a ravine, but a big open cave that was pretty close to the ravine. I figured that out by hiking around and keeping track of coordinates, so I dug through. And then I uh, have the tracks go through here, through a little cave, over this swamp. And there's some crazy terrain around this swamp. See as everything loads in in the distance. And then uh, falls this little river. And again, there's crazy terrain here. And this would actually go to the witch farm over here. Which, I'm not sure why they decided to start half-slabbing off all the water, but they did. And this was the server's witch farm. It wasn't the... The greatest witch farm, but it, it worked well enough. And, uh... Witches would... drop into the water here, and then be dropped down here. Instead of directly dropping. But, uh... Then the items would be pumped back up. But there was also, uh... Some caves that had to be lit up and all that. But it, a lot of work went into this, and it uh, definitely did provide enough glowstone and the like for the server. Uh, but this path then went off to uh, the player village. For whatever reason, the, the portal for the uh, witch farm was all the way out here. I guess far enough away that you didn't affect the spawning rates. Uh, but this path, yeah, leads to the player village. Player town. Uh, we all had uh, plots that were about 100 by 100, which to me is quite, quite big. And all, uh, this was uh, basically, this area was chosen because it had a, a village, and the area was relatively flat. For uh, an amplified world, you don't get much flat areas. <laughs> um, so let me uh, let this load in a bit. Stop moving around so it uh, can load in. So here was the uh, original village, and it was actually on a hill, so a lot of it was all weird. We built these stairs. Um, this is a sugarcane farm, and there's a cactus farm, and all sorts of other farm farms. This is going to be a big sorting system. This was being built by Watts. <laughs> um, I think it mostly works. We're going to add another layer on here. Uh, but there's no items in the actual sorters, so it would work, but we never actually filled out what all the items were going to be. This is Watt's plot over here, and you know, compared to his base, uh, this looks tame. I mean, it's just, you know, it's a nice uh, gazebo-ish type thing and a few towers. And, you know, a little path around the outside. Uh, but, like I said, it only looks tame. Because if you come around back here, and then come around here, you'll notice he dug out basically his whole plot and has a big spiral staircases coming all the way down to bedrock, basically. Uh, I believe he was going to have some farms down here. Never quite finished. Uh, but he does have a beacon. And, uh... Yeah, this is really impressive. Let's uh, show it from the outside, where you'd never have seen it. Yeah, 
equally as impressive is uh, this is a big cathedral that uh, Frox was building. We uh, spawned in heads for everybody. And inside, there's two big statues. I believe he was going to build a third one. Uh, but never quite finished it. Never never quite finished this whole cathedral. There is like a quarter of it missing here. At least on the bottom. But you can, you can really get an idea of what he was going for. This is really impressive. And all this was, you know, it was a survival server. So. Um, we got a castle over here. That uh, Jewish mood building and big moat inside the walls well a little strange but got lava towers on at least two of the towers it was building a third over here and this was maybe some sort of I don't know wizard's tower in the center something like that big uh, circular open area and there, obviously everyone has strip mines. <laughs> this is Freon's place in the player village, and it's a castle-like. Uh, this was a big mountain. You can see, maybe not a totally big mountain, but there was a at least half of this was mountainous, and he dug it all out. Uh, he was apparently building some sort of tree here. Uh, but that was never completed. Someone flattened most of this and never really used it. Uh, similar for here, although this was mostly flat. Uh, it was just a gentle valley. And then this was uh, my castle over here. You can obviously see. We did have this server in 1.8 for about two weeks before we just decided to start a new server. And I had basically, <laughs> as it was updated to 1.8, I jumped on and did some banners, and I've shown this off uh, before, and basically the changes I did was I added some colored lights for these beacons, cut glass, and you know, if you want to really see this, uh, look at some of my earlier videos, I, I definitely showed this off in one of my earlier videos. Nice throne room-ish place. <laughs> oh, yeah, and I added some armor stands. And uh, we got a tower here. And there's actually these buttons. They, there were levers here. I switched them to buttons because that's where it's, they're supposed to be. Leads up to this secret room up here. That should be repaired. But if you press them in the right order, this whole machine runs and opens up a little path where water pours down. Uh, you can then swim with the water. The water actually comes down these stairs, and because there's a hole here, it kind of goes around to the back and into the hole and stops. But you can then swim up the water to get up here. Unfortunately, um, there's nothing really up here. <laughs> I was going to put a chest or two uh, with some valuable stuff, but... Oh, I do have some stuff. Yeah, it looks empty. But then, yeah, then there's the stairs up here. And, yeah, I think all the chests are empty. Uh, obviously, the end of the chest is not going to show me anything. Uh, yeah, this is just under the roof of the castle. And uh, there's just a few more places. Uh, yeah, there's another village over here. That we... Never really did anything with. We were gonna build out to it, but uh, never really got there. There's a few other places. Uh, someone has a small little hut there. I think this is Cuball's place. There's a few people out over here. 
got uh, Talia's plot. Dingo stole my baby's dirt house. <laughs> Talia's got a, a little house base operations here. Well, split into two over a little lake. We got uh, Occlusion's place. It's always blocking everybody's view. <laughs> looks like it was never completely finished. The front looks good and the back wasn't really finished. A lot of unexplored caves. But uh, yeah, that pretty much uh, finishes up the world tour here. Um, you know, let me uh, let me show off our Nether. Uh, I can show off our end. There isn't much there except a uh, Enderman farm. The other has a few cool things. So let's go into creative mode so we can go through the portal here. Any minute now. Okay. Uh, here we are in the nether, and let's go back into spectator mode, and uh, here's some of those areas that were dug out to get uh, some nether rack for nether brick. And one thing you may not know about the nether is there's little pools of lava every place. Um, at a certain height, you can see, um, certain height, oh, they don't stop, I, I was going to say, at a certain height, they're empty, but no, it's just, they, they are there, you just can't see it from underneath, so that's why you have to be careful while digging through the nether, you're going to come across one of these pools, and lava spreads a lot further in the nether than it does in the overworld, it uh, basically acts like water, it, so it spreads faster, and further, it goes, uh, I think, seven blocks in the nether, where normally in the overworld it only spreads uh, three. Uh, this was our portal to the witch farm. And uh, our spawn area is, well, this way. Uh, we have a big mess over here. <laughs> Uh, but this is a few things at once. Uh, it's the closest nether fortress to spawn, which is actually right past that wall. So not far away. Uh, we have a, uh, blaze farm over here. So, oops. Yeah, here's the spawner. And then someone was trying to make a wither farm over here, although I'm not sure this was ever fully operational. Uh, so all of this is half slabbed off, and part of it is just covered in lava, just to prevent uh, other spawns in the area to concentrate all the spawns in the wither uh, farm over there. So I'm going to uh, fly through over here and uh, see what we can see. Yeah, so this was more of our uh, main spawn area. In fact, this is the spawn portal came out here and someone actually built this nice tower up because at one point we were going to uh, maybe put a rail station and tunnels up here, but that that never happened. Um, 
can see all the tunnels. Our, our spawn area is basically solid nether rack. So we have a lot of tunnels here, which basically would let us build almost whatever we wanted without having to do a lot of bridges and stuff like that if we we're up over lava or something. Uh, but in reality, we just got lazy, made tunnels, and didn't really make them nice. This was the uh, super smelter that I made. I believe it's uh, 32 furnaces, and you would all operate it from over here. You'd put in your fuel, and then you'd input your input ore, and then you'd press the button to go, and the carts would go and collect the ore, and there's two carts. That one looks like it's stuck there, but... So one would fill while the other was actually... You know, one would fill from the chest while the other was actually filling the furnaces. And, uh, yeah. You wouldn't get the XP, but you'd get a lot of stuff. And then hopper carts here that would run underneath and collect everything and drop it off in these chests. And, uh, well, this was Watt's place, or at least his nether entrance, and this would go all the way then up here, Ooh. to his portal, which, yeah, it's pretty far away, but he probably has some of the best decoration on the server. I think this went over to another blaze farm. And yeah, you can see there's another fortress. So yeah, another blaze farm over here. I have no idea where that path went. And we had paths over to all different uh, biomes because you know, there was a mesa biome, but it was pretty far away. And there was a jungle that was far away. and. Uh, Ice spikes area that was also far away. And you just see the amount of lava just waiting to be uh, accidentally run into. Uh, but yeah, that was our uh, our server. Um, oh, I was saying the, the one player for his uh, nether brick base dug out all sorts of areas, so you can see all sorts of dugout floors. <laughs> And a huge area over here, and I think I think this was his place right over here. Yeah, this portal. So yeah, that's where he got all his nether brick. He was from digging out this area. Oh, this is yeah, <laughs> this is the bottom of that. Uh, Wither Skeleton Farm. Yeah, so, uh, that's about everything I wanted to show off. Uh, I want to thank all of you for subscribing and following me. You know, leave some comments, tell me what you think, tell me what you think I should show. You want more Minecraft? You want more Kerbal Space Program? Do you want me to play some other games? I, you know, I've played some other games in the past, but I didn't get that good of a response in those videos, so I kind of kept to Kerbal Space Program Minecraft, the, uh, the games I've gotten some better responses on. You know, give me some suggestions of games to play. Give me suggestions of things you want to see. Tell me what you think. Leave your comment, like, comment, subscribe. And, uh, thanks for watching. I'll head back to spawn here, and I'll call it a video. So, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time with some more videos and some more interesting games. See you then.